Hi, thanks for joining us again this week. We are still talking about faith. Faith is believing in what you can't see because of what you can see. And we've been talking about this verse from Ephesians 2.8 that um, talks about God's grace. It says, God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. It is God's gift. And we've been talking about different people who had faith in God. And we've talked the past couple weeks about the Apostle Paul, about how he met Jesus when his name was Saul, and um, talked about last week about Peter, how he believed um, shared the gospel with Cornelius uh -huh. and some people who were from other nations. This week we're going to be talking about Paul traveling around to other towns and talking about Jesus. Today we're going to also in our story there's a place where Paul notices that the people in the town worship a lot of idols. An idol was something that uh, people made and it could be wood or metal and um, I brought some little examples this is this is a cat now in Egypt a long time ago they did worship cats and you would find statues of cats um, I have a cat I don't worship it I think he wishes I would worship him but I, I don't the, a lot of times worshiping something like a statue meant that they would sometimes burn incense to it which is like a perfumey um, little chunk that when you burn it it'll make smoke and a smell and sometimes they would offer food to it or they would pray to it um, sometimes the statues could look like other animals or they could look like people. Now, if you play ball or anything, you know this is actually a trophy, but sometimes they would make statues that looked like a person or sometimes in Rome, or there were other countries where they would actually worship the king or the emperor, and so they might make a statue of that person. Some people maybe would make statues of something like an angel and worship that instead of worshiping God. There are a lot of ways that people worship other things. Now in our country we have statues. They aren't usually worship. They just are maybe reminders of something in history or um, if you go to a museum or something like that so it can explain things that happen to you. But we do sometimes worship things that aren't God. Sometimes we might worship money or making a lot of money, or we might worship our electronics, giving them too much attention and too much time, or sometimes another person. There are ways that we can not pay attention to God that is kind of like what these people in this city did. Um, it's different because we don't have a lot of that in our country, but there are countries where they still do have idols that they worship, that people actually make with their own hands. So this is from the Eggermeyer's Bible story book, and it's, we're going to talk about some cities that Paul went to and about Athens. It's from Acts 17. Paul and Silas went to other cities to tell about Jesus. At Thessalonica, they found a Jewish synagogue. Now, this is the town where um, Pastor Brian and Pastor Norm have been preaching from the book of Thessalonians, and that is where that town was. They, Paul later wrote letters to the church that grew here, and um, this is the first time he went and met these people. He went there every Sabbath to teach people that Jesus is the Christ. Some Jews and many Greeks received the gospel. The Jews who did not believe were angry because so many people listened to Paul and Silas. 
to get rid of these two missionaries, they had a group of rough men cause a riot in the city. When everything was in an uproar, they went to Jason's house to look for Paul and Silas. Because they could not find Paul and Silas, they dragged Jason and some others before the city officials. The unbelieving Jews complained, These men have turned the world upside down and they have come to our city too. They are staying with Jason. What these men teach is against the laws of Caesar. They say there is another king whom they call Jesus. And that's because in Rome they worshiped the Caesar like he was a god. And there wasn't supposed to be any king more important than him. Both the rulers and the people were troubled when they heard this. They made Jason promise to keep the peace and let him go. But the believers sent Paul and Silas on to the next town. They were afraid of what might happen if the missionaries stayed in their city. At Berea, Paul and Silas found another Jewish synagogue, which is kind of like their church, and met with the Jews on the Sabbath. They told about the Savior whom the prophets had written about. The Jews listened carefully. They studied the books of the prophets to make sure Paul and Silas spoke the truth. Many believed. Among the believers were highly respected Greek men and women. Word reached Thessalonica that Paul and Silas were preaching at Berea. Those who had caused so much trouble at Thessalonica came to Berea to do the same thing. The believers knew Paul and Silas were in great danger. They had Paul leave at once to go to Athens, but Silas and Timothy stayed for a while to teach them. When he got to Athens, Paul sent word for Silas and Timothy to join him. While Paul waited in Athens for Silas and Timothy, he looked over the city. He saw idols everywhere. How many different gods these people worshipped. There was even an altar to an unknown god. In this city was a Jewish synagogue also. Here Paul spoke to the Jews about Christ. As he walked through the streets, sincere people asked him questions about the gospel. Soon he was teaching them about Christ every day. Others were curious and gathered to listen. There's a picture of Paul teaching, and you can see one of the Roman buildings in the background, and people are listening to him. It was hard for them to understand about Jesus and the resurrection. They thought that Paul spoke about a strange God from another man. But Paul's listeners were so impressed they wanted him to speak on Mars Hill. At this place, important matters were discussed. Some of the wisest men of Greece spoke here, and Paul's friends took him to Mars Hill to speak about Christ. Paul stood up before all the wise and curious crowd. He said, I saw the altar you built to the unknown God. I want to tell you about this God. It is he who has made the world and all the things in it. He is the Lord of heaven and earth. He does not live in temples made by men. He lives and gives life and breath to all creatures. He has made the people of every nation. This God is not far from every one of us. He wants people of every nation to seek him. He is not like gold or silver or stone that man shapes into an idol. Now that you know about the true God, he commands you to repent for your sins. For the day is coming when he will call all men to judgment. He told them about Jesus, whom God had raised from the dead. When the wise men heard this, some of them laughed. Others shook their heads and said, Come back another time and tell us more. But several came and asked to know more about Christ. One of them was Dionysius, an important man in Athens. Dionysius believed and was saved. A few others turned from their idols and believed in the true God and in his son, Jesus Christ. So we can share and tell other people about Jesus. Not everyone will listen and understand, but sometimes people will be interested and want to know about the God who made them. 
Let's pray and ask God to help us this week to have faith and remember to talk about Jesus. Father, I thank you for loving us, for grace, for your patience with us when we make mistakes. I thank you for our families and our homes and people who love us. Pray you would watch over us in uh, the hot days and as people make decisions about school and things that are coming up that they will have wisdom. I pray that you would help us remember to tell people about Jesus who might need to hear him, who might not know that there is a God who made them and loves them. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.